Hello guys and welcome to the Tank Club. Today we're going to be looking at the gear set Powerful Assault and try and cover all the information about the gear set and also discuss some of the problems with the set as well. So first of all let's take a look at the set bonuses. So the two item set bonus is 1206 extra max health. Three piece bonus is 1096 extra max stamina. Four items is 129 weapon damage. And then for the five items, the important part, when you cast an assault ability, you and up to five group members within 10 meters gain 307 weapon damage and spell damage for 10 seconds. So this is a very, very good group buff set. It provides more weapon damage and spell damage than Yolnacrin. The problem, however, is it's limited on the amount of people that can get the buff. So this set is quite often used by off tanks. It's an off tank set, and that's because it has a 10 meter range. So most of the time it's gonna be used by the off tank, aside from situations where the main tank is in range of the group and the group stack close to the boss. So when you're in a fight where the group are really close to the boss, so something like Cloud Rest, the main tank could use Powerful Assault in Cloud Rest because the group stack on the tail and the main tank can hit the group with Powerful Assault. So it works really, really well for that situation. This set is, is worth using, even if you can only get it on half of your group. So half of your group are going to get a damage buff. It's still worth using even in that situation. So still consider it even if you're not going to do separate stacks and other stuff that we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Even if you're just going to have one stack of players and you're only going to get it on half the group. It is still worth using because there's not really any other worthwhile group buff sets out there that, are, that can be used in place of Powerful Assault. The way to make this set work is you have to use an Assault ability to make this set proc onto your group. Now, you can use any Assault skill. Everybody is going to be using Aggressive Warhorn as a tank, or you should be at least. So that is going to proc your Powerful Assault if you've got the five piece of Powerful Assault active on the bar with your Aggressive Horn. A really good way to maintain Powerful Assault is by using Vigor. Either Morph or Vigor works fine. You don't have to hit your group with Vigor to proc it. It's just they have to be within 10 meters. You don't have to hit your group with Echo in Vigor, for example, to give them Powerful Assault. You just need to do a Assault skill near them. So you can use Resolve in Vigor. And have this on your front bar as your main heal so that you are actively using it when you need it. You can also use Razor Caltrops because that is not a bad skill to use, especially for like ad pulls and things. That is a really good skill. For fights where you've got multiple enemies, decent skill. Um, you've also got the option of using Proxy Debt, which is the morph of Magicka Detonation. And that means that it's going to be a little bit easier to sustain. So Vigor can be quite tricky to sustain. Caltrops is a little bit more expensive than Vigor, so even more tricky to sustain because they are stamina skills. Magicka Detonation or Proxy Debt. The Proxy Debt morph is the one you'd want because it's instant and it will give the PA buff straight away to people without even doing any damage or doing anything. So you just need to press the button and it will give them the buff. So you can use Proxy Debt because that is Magicka based. And what that means is you can use Proxy Debt and Balance and you can Balance and then Proxy Debt and you can sustain casting it no problem multiple times, spamming it if you really wanted to to get it on your group, whatever you may want to do. So that is an option as well. So this set is commonly ran on one bar, on the back bar. And a lot of people like to use um, an Ice Staff and Jewelry. And that is definitely a good way to run the set. The only trouble with doing that is obviously you've either got to grind out um, Imperial City and try and get the weapons yourself, or you've got to buy it, and the staves are in the region of a million plus gold. For me personally, I would rather in most situations be using the body pieces as the off tank, so you'd use the five medium body pieces with a two heavy piece monster set, and that works extremely well. And also front bar in the set works extremely well also. When you back bar the set, a lot of people struggle to get a good uptime when you back bar it. And that's because you have to physically remember to go onto your back bar, cast it, and then go back to your front bar and do whatever you're doing. If you front bar the set and you use Vigor as your main heal, you are more likely to keep a higher uptime. So that is an option as well. One of the other options that I like is to use it on the front bar. So I use the one hand, the shield, and the jewelry because I want it to be active on my front bar. 
If you don't want to buy the weapons and the jewellery, you could always use two medium pieces of PA with the jewellery. So you could use the hands and the waist with the jewellery. That will save you a hell of a lot of gold. So if you want to get PA working in your group, you're the off tank, you don't have a lot of gold. The jewellery is cheap, the waist and the hands are cheap also. So that is an option. You could go with a heavy monster piece so you can still run sort of a five heavy build with two medium and just go with the hands and the waist. So there's many different ways to set up PA. It really is just kind of up to you and it's up to whatever sets you're using with PA. So if you're an off tank, you might be using martial knowledge and powerful assault. So you're gonna be using the powerful assault body pieces because you would never use martial knowledge body pieces um, because that is a light gear set. And in a similar fashion, if you're using powerful assault with elemental catalyst, that's a light set. If you're using it with worm cult, it's a light set, so most of the time it's worth getting the body pieces. In situations where you might be using a heavy set with it, so Drake's Rush or Ebon or whatever it is you might be using, maybe Arcasis, I don't know, um, then obviously you're going to be needing it on the weapons and the jewellery potentially. But you could, like I say, you could always use the, the weapons of a different set. If you're using Drake's Rush, you could use the Drake's Rush weapons. You can also one-bar Drake's Rush on the weapons and you could use the PA two body pieces, and the jewellery. So there's many, many ways to set this up efficiently, and it's really up to you. So you can go five body pieces, jewellery and staff. You could go jewellery and two body pieces, or you could go jewellery and front bar. So that is really up to you. But me personally, I like to have it as a front bar set where I can activate it when needed. So the way this set works is it's proximity based. So it will activate on people that you are near to. Now that doesn't mean that like the five nearest people to you are going to get the buff. So if you stand in a group of six people, the five people that you're nearest to won't get the buff. It's kind of undetermined what actually affects people getting powerful assault within a big stack of people. So when you've got a full trial group of 12 people and you're all stacked up, apart from the tank maybe, the main tank, this set will choose a certain group of people that it's going to apply to. And it will continue to refresh on those same people every single time. It won't ever go on to anybody else. It'll just stay on the same five people plus yourself every single time. The only way to make it to go on to different people is to move. So even if you just move on the spot a little bit, side to side, it will activate on different people when you move. This is everybody apart from Templars and Nightblades. So Templars and Nightblades will not get this buff in a full stacked group, unless there is nothing else other than Templars and Nightblades. So if there are a lot of Necros in your group, or Sorcerers, Wardens, anything else, they will get priority on the buff over Templars and Nightblades within a stack of people. And there's no reason or understanding of why that is the case. Apparently this is intended, and it's the set is working as intended. Uh, the devs, the game devs, have tested this, and they can't replicate any of these issues that every single person in the game is experiencing. Every person in this game experiences the same problem where there are people in their group which never get the PA buff. Now, the only way to get PA onto everybody in your group effectively is to have two different stacks of people. And the way you then activate it is to outrange each group. So you'll have two stacks. So you'll put one stack on the left, one stack on the right. You would run past the group on the left to outrange the right stack, activate your PA buff, and it will only go on the people within that 10 meter range because you've outranged the one group and you've only got it near the other group. And then what you do is you'd run to the other side of the room and you'd outrange the left side and stand near to the right group, activate your PA buff there, and it will go on that group of people. So that is the only effective way to essentially get it on everybody. The buff will go on people and there is no like guarantee or there's no way of knowing who it's going to activate on. The way it chooses... Who, who the buff goes on when you've got a full stack of people is completely unknown. It will refresh on the same people if you stand still like we mentioned. Many methods have been tested to find out how PA chooses its target. So aside from ranging and outranging, and there is no conclusive evidence, so people tested absolutely every imaginable thing that you can think of to make PA activate on a person, and it was there was no evidence or conclusive evidence whatsoever to suggest there is a certain thing that makes it go on to a certain type of character. Before Greymore... This set was prioritized um, on the people with the highest max stamina pool, but this is not the case anymore. This is not true now in the current patch, and it hasn't been since Greymore. It won't go on the people 
with the highest max stamina pool. It used to, and now it doesn't. In my opinion, this gear set is bugged and not working properly. So like we said, in a full stack of people, Templars and Nightblades will never get the buff unless the Nightblades and Templars are away from everybody else and the off-tank or whoever's using PA was to move and cast it on them intentionally. Um, so that, for me, is a problem. Like, it shouldn't be that, that way. If it's supposed to be random, you should be able to stand on the spot with a full stack of a group cast it multiple times and it would go on different people even if it was random it would activate on different people it doesn't do that though um you do have to make the two stacks to make it work properly so sidestepping running around it makes off tanking very difficult while using the set because you can't actually actually really off tank and use the set if you've got to force two groups of people to stack in either side of a boss and then you're having to run left and run right and run left and run right keep casting it and it only lasts for 10 seconds so you are spending the majority of your time running left and right to cast it. Unless you are willing to just force it onto the same group of people endlessly, which, which is still worth it, as we mentioned already. Now, finally, I just wanted to kind of go over the fact that PA set is definitely bugged, and I have the kind of evidence to prove it. So I'm going to show you a quick video now of me using PA recently. In this particular video, I will show you that I'm using a five-piece of Powerful Assault. So I'm using the five-piece of Powerful Assault. I'm using the uh, two rings, the neck, I'm using the one hand and the shield. On my front bar, it's active. On my front bar, I'm using Echo in Vigor. And when I cast Echo in Vigor, sometimes I get the buff on myself, and other times I don't. Now let's just highlight the fact this set activates on you and up to five group members. As we get further into the fight, we'll have a look once we sort of pull Zamarja. So the, the fight gets started. And we are in a full stacked group. All 12 people are in range of the PA buff. So we're in a full stack. The main tank is the other side of Zamarja. The rest of the group is stacked up. We are all in range of the gear set. I refresh my Vigor. I refresh it there. One, two, three times, four times, five times refreshed. I'm not getting the PA buff. You can see the PA buff both in the bottom left corner in my PA tracker and on my in-game, this is the part of the actual base game. So the in-game buff tracker. I only use the in-game buff tracker and it's not appearing on there either. So I'm not getting the PA buff refreshed on myself. Now, you could say that it's good because I don't want the PA buff on myself. I want to give it to my group members, which is fine. And that is, that is kind of true. I also kind of think that this proves that the set doesn't work as it's supposed to. So the set doesn't activate on myself. The set is supposed to activate on you plus five people. I just really think that it's it's a problem that it won't activate on the people it's saying it's going to activate on. And the fact that it doesn't activate on Nightblades and Templars when you're in a stack is extremely frustrating. I just think that we need to have a look at this gear set and figure out why it doesn't work and i feel like the devs need to have a look at why it doesn't work properly it definitely does not work as it's supposed to and that's aside from the fact that it's just an irritating set with having to force people into different stacks and move side to side so i am going to give the set a rating um in terms of like it's it's group usefulness in terms of the buff that it gives it's definitely a four out of five star set maybe even a five star set when you consider the buff that it's providing yolnacrin is a better buff because it's an aura set. You're just taunting the enemy, which is something you're always doing. You're giving your group the minor courage. With PA, it only activates on a small number of people for a less period of time, so it's more difficult. So I'm giving it four stars and not five for that reason. If we look in terms of how it's activated and used, this is definitely a, a kind of a one to two star set because it's extremely irritating. It's a bugged set. It doesn't work as it's supposed to. They need to probably figure something out and maybe make it a smart set where it only activates the buff on people that don't have it. That would make it a really kind of nice set in my opinion. Giving it that smart kind of proc chance. When you activate the buff on somebody, it will activate it on somebody that doesn't have it. And that way it's just going to make it like more easy to manage. And, it, and like we're not going to have these complaints about the set not working. People are spending millions of gold to get this gear set for it then not to work properly. And in my opinion, I feel like that's really, really bad that that is the case. And there's no other, like the fact that there are no real great tank sets anymore. And, and like we have tanks using this because there's nothing else worth using. So tanks are using Powerful Assault 
simply because there's nothing else worth using. And the fact that it doesn't work properly is just really, really super irritating. Okay, and that's it for this video, guys. So if you've got any questions, make sure you drop me a message in the comments below or on the Tank Club Discord. And take a little look at the tankclub.com for more gear set information. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.